When you're using the jelly plate, there's no reason why you can't cut your own stencils to use with the jelly plate. Now this is where this little tool comes in. This is the gyro cut and one of the differences with this, it has a spinning blade and that makes it easier for cutting round, especially round circular or kind of fluid shapes. Now here's one that I've already done and I'm going to cut that again and show you how I did that. Now you could cut your stencils out of acetate, that would make them, uh, you could get several uses out of them then. Acetate isn't great on DVD because you can't see it. So I'm cutting mine out of paper today. This is more than a single use stencil because once I've used it on the jelly plate I won't be able to take it off to use again. But certainly with acetate you could do that. Here's another design I've done, here's my Catherine wheel design. Now to cut this sunburst shape all I've done, I'm, I'm a freehand cutter really, I could draw it all out but I prefer to go freehand. I've drawn round a bottle lid here, then a slightly bigger one here and I've done this freehand drawn, at, this is roughly so I know where my sunburst needs to finish and I've given myself some guidelines with pencil just so I can roughly take my sun rays up there. So I'm just going to start with this central bit here. And as I move around, the blade is adjusting itself, so that's helping me to cut this shape out here. Now I'm using these as my guide, and I'm just very loosely freestyle going to cut some sun rays. And as I do that, the blade adjusts itself and makes it easy for me to do that. Now, cutting your own stencils like this means that, you know, every mark that you put on your prints is made by you. Because you've created the stencil. You see how that blade is just twisting and adjusting itself. It makes it very easy for me to cut these fluid shapes out. And if I wanted to, I could add some extra. And this is completely freestyle in the middle. Extra sun rays here. Any extra little bits that get left behind, you can either take those off or go in with some scissors afterwards. When I've cut this out, I'm going to show you how this looks when I put it over one of my jelly backgrounds. You can see how it all starts to come together. If you, for your designs for your own stencils, you could always look at uh, clip art and things online, where you could edit your own photographs and print them out and use those as a guide. show you how that looks now. There we have a sunburst design and I shall add that now to one of the jelly prints. I've got my jelly plate back out. Now what I'm going to do, this is a background that I've made previously. It's not very interesting so I'm going to add my sunburst design. Um, same again, you could do this with a brayer. Just place my design like that. I'm 
And there you have it. That's how to add your own stencil prints to your jelly prints.